Hola Minecraft fans, it's Collins and we got another Magneticraft mod tutorial. Today we're going to build the uh, Sterling Generator to produce some energy in Magneticraft. And uh, most of these things you can look them up in NEI. There's a couple things we haven't seen if you've been following along in the previous tutorials. You take a multi-block chassis and a heat cable and you get this heat IO. And then you make a battery, a copper coil. This magnet is made. You can use any blue dye. You don't have to use lapis. Uh, but you surround uh, iron with redstone and some lapis and you get a magnet and that's used to make the alternator and then this is the sterling generator control which is some carbide and a chassis and a battery and an alternator and uh, just like most of the other magnetic craft uh, multi-block structures you place the controller one block above the ground you right click it and you get a ghost layout of the structure and this is a 3 by 3 by 2 tall structure and it's built with one controller 15 chassis one low voltage IO and one heat IO. So let's go ahead and build this bad boy out. This is a pretty simple one to build. In the middle at the top is the heat IO and then in the back is the low voltage IO. And just like the rest of the magnetic craft multi-block structures, once you build it out it doesn't complete until you right click the controller. And then of course again if you break a block you'll get your block back in survival mode. You put it back it doesn't recreate until you right click the controller again. And as I've mentioned previously in the other magnetic craft tutorials if you press F9 in most of your mods you get a display of the chunk borders and if you're going to build one of these multi-block machines it's a good idea to make sure that the entire structure sits inside one chunk. So let's go ahead and hook this thing up to some stuff and we'll see what it does. So we've got this thing all hooked up. There is, since the control block is the middle on the top, you can actually input uh, items. So you can connect any sort of conduit from any mod that uh, inputs items. And we're just using the vanilla hopper. And you can stick some coal in there. You can also stick uh, coal or any other fuel that, you know, any furnace fuel, basically, coal coke or anything like that, into the front of the interface and then it's pretty much just going to generate electricity and heat and it will produce um, quite a bit of power. What does it say? It says right here up to 1.2 kilowatts of power. So it's going to produce power and it also produces heat. Uh, you can see on the Wayla tool tip you can also use a, a thermometer from the mod to see how much heat it's putting out and you can see the uh, power output and you can also see it in the battery there. Uh, so this is pretty much an easy way to generate uh, bigger power than you're using than just the little standard basic generators. And unlike the the Magneticraft basic generator, it does not need water. So all you got to do is put some fuel in here. And pretty much, like I said, anything that a furnace will burn, this thing will burn. And we got the wooden pick again because, like most of the other blocks, you can pretty much, uh, you know, any type of pickaxe will work on these blocks if you want to break them down and replace them and the wrench doesn't really do anything for this machine uh, and I'm not sure exactly if how the heat works like if it produces less heat if it's producing power it looks like it does because this thing is not heating up very fast this is a heat cable um, so it looks like most of the energy is being used to generate electricity I think it will generate all electricity if you don't have anything hooked up to the heat output so you could probably just leave that empty and that is our Sterling Generator. So it's a good way to generate some bigger power in the Magneticraft mod. And that's it for our tutorial. So thanks everybody for watching. Thanks everybody who likes and subscribes. And we'll catch you guys later.